WMB160 will provide you with seven unique displays or views to help you understand the large amount of information this multi-beam sonar generates. Firstly, there is the sonar view, showing the raw echoes covering the 120 degree port to starboard. The sonar view updates every ping and will show both fish in the water column as well as seafloor profiles. The next view is the single beam view. This view is just like that of a normal sounder, except the operator can dynamically change the beam width in steps of 5 degrees. So you can have a high resolution narrow beam sounder or a wide beam sounder depending upon your requirements. Uniquely, WMB160 also has a triple beam display. This view is like having three single beam sounders with one sounder offset to port, one center and one offset to starboard. All roll stabilized. From the triple beam view, skippers can quickly understand the location of fish schools and adjust course accordingly. The unit will show the seafloor profiles in a number of views or display modes. Contour mode. This is like a two-dimensional bird's eye view of the seafloor. Depth is shown by color, which can be dynamically changed to highlight points of interest. The contour display can be zoomed in or out, just like a normal plotter. The contour mode can be changed to show seafloor hardness or subtle changes in the seafloor density. Another term for this is backscatter view. Further, the contour display mode can be changed to overlay fish echoes over the seafloor profile. The fish echoes are shown in color, with the normal stronger echoes in red. The seafloor profile is shown in a grayscale as a background. The 3D view or mode is a great way to view the very accurate seafloor profiles the unit generates. This view can be rotated and zoomed so the skipper can see the exact area of interest. The last display mode for WMB160 is the side scan view. This feature generates a side profile, port and starboard of any raised object on the seafloor. So 